All right, all right. So it's that time, isn't it? We'll do a little video for you. So the state arbiters of this program have since the inception obviously continuously hyped and maintained people's interest in this global social engineering program while simultaneously doing a hell of a lot to suppress and censor people from hearing from the main protagonist of this global social engineering program and that would be me. And as I have said time and again, I am censored and shadow banned to the hilt on all social media and my YouTube and Facebook especially have become more or less useless. So recently I have started to use Twitter to reach people. Obviously I have been dealing with all the same kind of shadow banning as all other social media. However, yesterday on the 7th of March 2024, I managed to document how my comments on other people's tweets were being made invisible in many instances. They were not getting outright deleted by the publisher of the tweets, but made invisible for everybody except myself. I have also heard rumblings, if you will, that the states and intelligence agencies who operate the program and Twitter apparently have been informing people of these restrictions against me on X. As soon as I documented what was going on in regards to this particular censorship tool, it got removed again. So obviously they don't want me to have evidence of the fact that they are outright censoring me on X. These censorship efforts obviously go hand in hand with all the other restrictions that are being put on anybody and everybody who comes into any kind of contact with me whatsoever, whom are constantly being told not to engage or to speak with me, least of all have any kind of organic interactions with me, and if they do so, they are constantly being told off in real time by the states and intelligence agencies whom are using the synthetic telepathy communication system to do so through the process of which I'm going to explain to you here. I'm being used as a walking, talking base station. Everything that I pick up from my five senses is being surveilled, recorded and decoded in real time. This information that is being obtained through me from remote neural monitoring is being used by intelligence agencies whom are running the program. They are acting upon this information that they are gleaning and they are obviously using my geolocation to broadcast synthetic telepathy communications to everybody within a certain vicinity of me. And that is how this aspect of the program with the use of the synthetic telepathy communication system is being used in real time. These very advanced electromagnetic technological capabilities used to be classified under national security, which they still in fact probably are. However, you know as well as I do, the Western establishments and their intelligence agencies want their cake and eat it too. Simultaneously with all the psychological warfare campaigns that are being waged on me, Stephen Bell and the public at large, in which I'm always being demonized, ridiculed or discredited or made guilty of despicable crimes without ever being charged or prosecuted. The North Jutland Police here in Denmark have since 27th of April 2023 been trying to build a case against me. I don't know for what, everything is being kept very hush hush. Obviously I know that I haven't done anything criminal and I have tried to request FOIA and even complained over North Jutland Police rejection to the state's attorney who likewise denied my request under the pretext that the cases are active and I'm under criminal investigation. However, and most importantly, I'm not being charged and therefore I do not have all the rights that one normally has. And I have even tried to have a well-known attorney here in Denmark act upon my behalf in the hopes that this will lead the police to charging me for whatever they are cooking up. However, this got shot down immediately so it would appear that the Danish state is giving the police and the prosecutor's office unlimited time to fabricate cases against me. And yes, I said fabricated. Because as I say, I haven't done anything criminal and they don't want to interview me. They certainly don't want to charge me because that gives me more rights under the law, which they don't want me to have 
because then I would be able to see what they are supposedly investigating me for. I would also be able to choose an attorney to represent me and they would also have time limits to, uh, that they have to investigate me under. Now they are boycotting all of these rules uh, that are prescribed by law by not charging me. So they are basically just running an off the books continuous investigation into With me. All that normally entails and much, much more because the Danish intelligence agency, PET, is obviously involved completely lawlessly. Obviously, I'm not a terrorist. And that is exactly what they want to label me as under some kind of Orwellian pretext. Based upon my utterings in my videos and the fact that I have a hunting license and the fact that I don't support Israel's genocide on the Palestinians. This is seriously what they are aiming to achieve to label me as a terrorist or a supporter of Hamas. And of course the outrageous sleep deprivation campaigns that lasted 72 days that ended not long ago. And of course the almost complete prohibitions against me from earning any money through my small business one stop engine shop or allowing me to sell my car, say at Ibiza, that has been for sale for a year now, all of these things are specifically designed to put me under constant stress and fear in hopes that these active measures are going to lead to something, a situation metastasizing, so that they in turn can use whatever given situation they are coerting to happen against me.